That's something new, whatever it is. Oh! Here, quick, quick, quick. This is not a good idea. This is really stupid. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Bubblegum Buddy. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and we are picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Um, I just basically paused the game, stopped the recording, and then started it again. It's just because we were getting way too long in the last episode. Uh, but if you didn't catch that episode, we basically made our way up in through here, um, through the, the, the gate, or I'm sorry, not the gate, the wall, and we have uh, now... Or we're now at the junction to go into the first zone proper here in the uh, mid zone. Um, we, you know, looks like there's going to be some new resources and anomalies. This is going to be at least a, a stable junction zone. And it's going to have a, a, a little bit of unstable power. It's the Myers is what it's called. And we are looking for swamp coral i think it's called and swamp eggs we need those two things in particular to do some pretty important upgrades like uh, upgrading our backpack to the large version and being able to make the blowtorch uh so let's go ahead and head on into this zone and see what happens i have been told that uh, the mid zone is quite a bit more intense than the outer zone and the outer zone has definitely been intense <laughs> No doubt about it. So, uh, let's look at this. Hello, friend. Welcome to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection to Wapi is jam. Oh, uh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. <coughs> A little bit obvious, don't you think? Right. Ask me if I care. Yeah, the mid zone's been marinating in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. <clears throat> first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Oppie's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Okay, reach the tower on the hill. Um, all right, so... I think that's probably what this is, right? And where are we at? Oh, we're right here. Okay. Alright, well, let's see what happens. My car is definitely doing some weird shit. It does have a little bit of a different look here. And we're going to have Tobias and Francis to guide us along our way. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, though. <laughs> not sure about those two. Alright, I see some kind of weird red thingy up here. So we'll want to scan that. I wonder if those flowers um, mean anything uh, in terms of like a resource. I don't think so, but let's get out and check anyway. Nope. Okay. All right. There's some weird stuff on this car here. Some pink stuff. Is that... Well, I don't know what the hell it is. Let's find out. Oh, those are marsh eggs. Okay, good. We need these.
Whatever that shit is down there doesn't look very safe. Just gonna throw that out there. Can we vacuum these? Ah! That's how we want to do marsh eggs. That's gonna take forever picking those individually. Uh, so we got a total of 27. Nice. Um, alright. I guess we need to go... Well, we can't go any further this way, that's for sure. Um, we're gonna need to go... Can we scan whatever this is from out here? That's an orb. A giant orb. Okay. It's such beautiful Pacific Northwest weather we're having here. How many of those... Let's see, did we learn the blowtorch? Or, I don't know, I don't think we have, because I think we need the marsh eggs to learn the blueprint for it. And then, almost certainly you're gonna need them to make it too. Let's look at our map. So the map doesn't show anything here blocking our way, but I bet you it's going to want us to drive down into the marsh to get around here, so. That's what we got to do, and that's what we got to do. We need to find marsh coral as well. Okay, I don't know if these orb things are going to do something bad to us. Let's... Let's do a, a, a little bit of quick reading here. Um, hot dust. At present, the majority of radiation detected in the zone can be categorized as beta particles or gamma rays, behaving almost exactly as we would expect. Nevertheless, further study will still be required to explain the origin and highly variable intensity of this radiation, which is unlike anything previously documented. One particular kind of radiation frequently manifests as a highly localized phenomenon with no apparent source or focus and often displays changes and modes of behavior more consistent with cloud patterns. These radiation microclimates are increasingly common and vary in intensity from relatively weak to extremely concentrated. We've tried to discourage the use of the phrase, but local contractors have already taken to using the phrase hot dust to describe this unusual anomaly. While further study is obviously warranted, the extremely unpredictable activity and spontaneous appearance of this radiation has made the examination extremely difficult. It is not currently a priority. Okay. Um, giant orb. Uh, I'd estimate it's been uh, some 10 to 12 months now, maybe more. I'd hope the passage of seasons would serve as at least some broad frame of reference, but that doesn't seem to happen here anymore. The climate is largely constant while the weather is subject to these sudden swings that are impossible to predict. Storms appear out of nowhere. Rain is sometimes spontaneous. The skies clear quite suddenly, though never enough that I can get a good look at the stars. However, my compass still seems to be working, at least most of the time. The moon, however, that's something else. I can usually still make it out, but something is different. Something is changing. I can't tell if it's some local atmospheric change here or but to suggest anything beyond that is ridiculous. Why would the moon have changed? And on the subject of strange orbs, those static glowing spheres have been changing color again. They're now a curious shade of orange or burnt sienna. This seems to be their most static color, yet I wonder if these signals, uh, if this signals some state of maturity. We'll see. They seem to be somehow guarding those strange nests of giant frog spawn. No, I shouldn't say guarding because that implies intelligence, but they're often nearby. I found a new cache of food last night, and I have nothing but time, so I shall contemplate these orbs. Okay, um, spud light. Oh, that's cool, it's a spud that's a light. <laughs> okay, we could uh, maybe try that when we get back to the shop. Uh, we have a new bobblehead, mischievous Malcolm. Looks like a bird. Okay, Malcolm is our hero, perhaps he can also be yours. And what else do we have here? We have a decal called Numbers, which I want to try and put on too. Uh, but we'll, we'll worry about that when we get back to the garage. Okay, so um, they did seem to indicate 
that these are guarding the orbs. So what are they going to do to me? If I get close, do they do something? If I touch them, do they do anything? No? Alright, what happens if we try and harvest the frog spawn? They don't do anything at all. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go get more frog spawn then. Can we... Look at my, my car glitching out there. Can we, um... What happens if we shoot it with a... flare or something? Okay, this is for science. Nothing. All right, well, they seem to be completely inert then. So they're not really a resource, and they're not a hazard, as far as I can tell. Standing next to it does not seem to cause me damage nor radiation. So I think that's about all we can learn about those things. Let's go. Uh, we got to get up on that hill there. Okay. Uh, can we do that by going this way? I want to find marsh coral, too. I don't suppose... That's this stuff, is it? No. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll come across it. I hear a can opener somewhere. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it up this hill. Let's Let's try it. Well, maybe we will. Hmm. Can't quite seem to get up over there. Okay, yeah, I don't think we're meant to go up that way, so let's just follow along this way then. We'll get back on the road. Looks like the road will eventually lead to where we need to go. Um, we could get out and loot that place, but we're gonna take radiation damage, so let's let's just skip it for now. That's something different.
Here, let's um let's turn our vehicle off so we're not burning gas. Can we scan this? A rotten egg. Okay. It's coming from down here. Anomaly. Belching barnacle. We needed to scan that for something. I can't I can't remember what, but I'm going to guess that that stuff's probably corrosive. Let's just assume that it is and not um, deliberately step in it. That stuff travels fast. Or not fast, far. Okay. Let's just read about these two new things real quick. Um and we'll also read about this. Anomaly Study 7. Uh, waist height and one of the few apparent benign anomalies reported. These were frequently found hiding in warm, dry places during cold or wet weather. This included under vehicles and by heating vents. Bulbous and resembling puffball mushrooms, they would squirt dark liquid when disturbed and roll away rapidly. Rarely sighted after 1976, but occasionally still reported. Nice car. Okay, so we just... We have Belching Barnacle. Uh, all right, people. First of all, we have to stop calling these things geysers. A geyser launches a jet of water, not gas. These things are blasting warm air and whatever goo this is. Got that? Have you got that? Second, whatever you do, do not try to enter one. These things go deep. Turns out the zone isn't just wrecking things above ground, and these are some kind of thin fissure resulting from the Earth's crust being scrambled up. They're blasting jets of warm air from as far down as the mantle. Third... These might not be entirely bad news. We think they're acting almost like a valve that prevents greater pressure from building. This may be why the geological activity we expect in the Pacific Northwest has decreased. We hope to know more soon. In the meantime, uh, not geysers, okay? Stop calling them geysers, please. Huh? What did you say over there? Yeah, sure, they look like that. Call them barnacles, whatever. Okay. Rotten egg. Jim, I'm at my wit's end here. The guys you're giving me are stupid. They're idiots. 23 years in the Army, and I swear to God, we're at our lowest point. Now, you listen to me. They cannot be out there touching everything they come across. New rule. Assume everything is acid. Everything. Okay, so that's the hint that those are corrosive. Um, oh, is that right? You think I haven't heard that word before? Listen, my first deployment was Italy. I was fighting hand-to-hand -hand in Monte Cassino a week after I arrived. You know where I was before that? I was in a goddamn camp on McNeil. Guys like you shipped me and my family to a camp in Washington because you thought we would turn against our own damn country. 23 years and I'm not going to die back in this stupid state because some pimpled private doesn't listen because you are not briefing your soldiers. Now, you sort this out and you sort it out today, or I take this all the way to the top. And if you think men who look like me don't complain, I'll show you just how far this can go. One of us has a bronze star and one of us has a plywood desk. <laughs> Sort, sort out your battalion and don't you ever, ever dare question my loyalty to this service or to this country again. Okay, all of that fluff just to find out that rotten eggs are indeed corrosive, uh, which is really what we wanted to learn. Uh, okay, so um, let's see. We need to continue on here with my bouncing car. Okay. 
it's fun, um, you know, getting into a new zone and discovering new things. Warning, launch and construction facility ahead. Periodic volume warning, 80 plus decibels next 15 miles. Okay. Uh, I guess we go this way. I think we were supposed to jump that thing, but that was probably more car damage. Since we're here, we might as well check this place real quick. I wonder if we get anything new in these buildings or if they're, it's the same old, same old. Three chemicals is nice, though. I'm not going to complain about that in one cabinet. Man, I love that storage. So much space. We have a belching barnacle nearby. Those are a bunch of can openers over there. Oh, one of these places. I remember doing that mission where we had to activate the stabilizers, and when we activated all three of them, it seemed to destabilize everything. Uh, there's usually a... Shit, man. I hope that stuff doesn't come over this way. As it comes over this way. Alright, let's do this. Okay, a stabilizer in section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Hey, Francis, pan the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. Do we have there. to... Your receiver's hooked in now. Do we have to get there? And we're patched into all that sweet arc device data. <laughs> nice work. Oppie won't be able to block us out anymore. Well, better get going. Here it comes. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's on now. Okay, we want to go this way. Yeah, it's moving in. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, I, I really want to get back to the garage anyways and get our new engine installed and, you know, a couple more upgrade things like the blowtorch before we come back to the mid zone and really start, you know, hanging out here. I'm not going to worry about looting for now. Let's just go. Unless I... No, we need to go. <laughs> Let's just close it in fast. <laughs> That's something new, whatever it is. Oh, shit! Can I, um... 
do that. Um. Here, quick, quick, quick. This is not a good idea. This is really stupid. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Bubblegum buddy. Okay, let's go. We'll read about those guys later. So the limb pulse emitter, once again, has come in super handy. Go, 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 go. Uh, okay, I think we're going to get off the road here. What the hell? Don't be running into trees. I'm trying to stay out of the water because the water's going to slow us down. Oh, the red shit is right on our ass. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I mean, we can survive in the red stuff for a little bit, but not for very long. Whew. <laughs> that was intense. Mid-zone crossing, we just got an achievement. Okay. See if Oppie has wow. anything to say. Oh. Oppie was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? <laughs> I think hey, Tobias is doing worry. it. don't worry. I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. A little favor. Wow. Okay, wow, that was intense, guys, but super fun. Super fun. Um, I'll bet All you... right, I've, I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this... Yeah, bingo! That security lock's powered on now. We try that overload code from the observation towers. 4735. Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. All right, where is it? I, I don't see any, I don't see anything in here. Hmm. What am I missing? Find Oppie's hideaway. Okay, there's got to be... There's probably some kind of secret... Ah. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. What is this? An arc dock. Can we scan this? No. Okay. Um There's a hard drive. Let's let's put let's put this down first. Uh where does it go? Does it go on the arc thingy itself? Yes. Do we have a note? 
Certain components and equipment that you will install in your car have abilities that need to be activated. Yeah, we know that. Um, does it tell us what the arc dock is, though? So, are they saying that we need to... Install it here. Arc Doc. Limb enhanced first aid attention on the go. Nice. I I never use the parking brake anyway. I just don't ever use it. Okay. So I guess that's gonna give us some heals. I like it. Okay, hard drive, logbook, open. A database containing years of limb research and development data stolen from Arda by Oppie herself. She stole it, huh? All right. Um, what is a bubblegum, buddy? Hi there, Dr. Cook. This Sorry, is Tobias. Sorry, driver. We wouldn't have to do this if Oppie were of sound mind. But <laughs> we can't stand by while she messes up some calculation and kills you. Send the drive to Tobias and Francis. Oh, I bet you that's what we use that pneumatic thingy for. Uh, where the hell is that? In here. Boy, oh boy, look at all these gizmos in here. Oppia wasn't operating no normal auto shop. A fabrication station. Oh, her personal vault? I bet there's some good stuff in there. I I'm uncomfortable intruding like this. <laughs> Can you not? Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? <laughs> what? Show me. Oh, you did it. Hey, you actually did it. <laughs> oh, boy, howdy, I cannot wait to dig through all this data. As promised, I'll fix Oppie's connection. Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bat. I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched into the garage frequency. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Oppie, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead, then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Did she just hang up on us? Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? <laughs> We know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Drive, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. The visions. Reach Tobias's marker. Okay. Um. That okay. So that gives us a new. I, I'm just trying to process all this information here. Uh, is there anything else in here that's of interest to us? That door doesn't open. Okay, not that I can tell. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, let's get back to doing our own stuff here. Uh, the first order business is new engine. So let me get all of the crap out of uh, out of here and put away and then we'll make our new engine You hear about what they found on the moon? No? Yeah? They don't want you to hear about it F -f 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 They found me All right Okay, we have some um, dumpster pearls here Put all those in see if we get anything other than the basics. Oh, we got some plasma. That's pretty good. And some uh, some beige paint. 
A fuel can. Oh, cool. A large fuel can. That's nice. Why don't we... Let's fill it up. And we'll just take it with us. That gives us two large fuel cans. I think what we'll do is we'll kind of put... Um, we'll put stuff, you know, that we want to keep in the car all the time in this. Um, actually, I want to keep that with me in this trunk, and then our loot stuff we'll put more in here, which means we also... Uh, we're actually going to need to use this anyways uh, to do some repairing. Okay, let's pick this up. Put this back over here. Get the basketball out and then pull most of the rest of this out. Get it put away. All right, that takes care of the dumpster pearls. Next, we want to um, let's learn the blowtorch. Oh, we've already learned the blowtorch. I guess we just needed needed the egg thingies to make it. So let's go here. Here we go, blowtorch. Um, wow, that takes 80, no, yeah, 80 marsh eggs. Okay, kind of expensive, but we're going to really need to prioritize uh, marsh eggs when we go into the mid zone. All right, next, let's, let's make our engine. Turbo light engine. One turbo light engine coming up, ladies and gentlemen. And we can just hold it right in our hand here. Okay, open this up. And we should be able to just... Sweet! Okay. I think I'm just going to scrap that. The engine served us well, but it is... We're done with it. Okay. Neat. Okay, so we have our new turbo light engine installed. It's a beautiful thing. Um I think that's all we we're gonna do at this point in terms of upgrades. Uh, so we do need to get the vehicle. Oh, we need to diagnose some quirks too. Um, but let's go ahead. Do I have a, I should have an insulated panel in here, right? Uh, yeah, I've got two. Okay, so let's swap these two out. Yeah, I like that setting a lot better where we can just... Um, should be able to just... Oh, yeah. Just press the mouse button down to put it in there. And then, let's see. We got two door, three doors and another panel that's not in the best of shape. Let's grab the... That's the only door I have in here that's... Uh, or no, only two doors. Okay, so which one's worse? That one's about halfway down. And that one's a little less than halfway down. So we'll swap this one out. Okay, and then we have two panels. So we have another panel here. And is it this one? That one's about 60%. That one's a little bit better. Okay, so we'll swap this one. Here. And it looks like we need to paint that one. 
Very good. Our headlights are in pretty decent shape, but I usually swap those out when I'm in the shop. And we should have we should have an, a, a bumper in here too, and a limb device. Uh, so we'll swap those two out. Uh, we can make an upgraded version of this at some point too, which will be good to do. Alright, so we just have two normal headlights in here, but I think I want to make the insulated version. Oh yeah, we got lots of resources for these. Okay. Uh, no. We need the good one in here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is take these two out. And we're just going to grind them up. Get that in our hand slot. There. Okay, so everything will repair there. We have a door and a panel that's going to need a direct repair. We'll hit that door. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was this panel here. All right, how are we looking now? These are partially down, but they're not real bad. So I think, I think we'll we'll forego taking those all the way up for now. How's this wheel looking? Yeah, I see it's not in that bad of shape. I think we'll we'll stick with that. Okay. Um. Are we? Is that it? Oh, I want to. Let's try a couple things from here. Uh, mischievous Malcolm. We'll install him, and then we don't have anything new for the mirror. We've got a, a go kart steering wheel. We'll take a look at that. We could we could look at the um, crowbar, but I think I'm still going to like the shock absorber better. Uh, let's try this castle for the hood ornament. And I want to see what this potato thing looks like. Okay. Do we have any new stickers? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm assuming this will light up the potato thingy. Uh, Go-kart steering wheel's cool. Yeah. The crowbar stick shifter's kind of neat, but honestly, I still think the shock absorber's cooler. That's just... I can't even explain it. It's just the way my brain works, I think. This looks exactly like the normal shifter, except for, of course, it has an 8-ball on it, so it's not really that big of a deal. Let's start the new engine. I think it sounds a little beefier than the other one, maybe? Uh, what are we... How did we lose that assignment? No, 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 we had the arc dock up here. This should be... Oh, because we removed our limb pulse emitter to... Yeah, there we go, okay. Yeah, I, I think that... 
I think that engine does sound a little bit beefier than the the other one. Now, um, there's one. Oh, we got another mess to clean up. You know what? Let's just use this. Okay, there's one other thing that I think I want. And that is the roof lights. Because something like that's going to be super handy in, uh, you know, in those really dark zones. And I think we, I think we actually learned the roof lights too. We just didn't make them. Let's see. Oh, right. No, we needed the swamp coral. Right. Okay. Um, actually, we wanted the tracking one anyways. So, yeah, we'll have to be on the lookout for the swamp coral for sure. Do we have anything new that unlocked in here? No. Okay, nothing for ourselves. Uh, we have 5.5 unstable power. Um, that requires corrupt power. I kind of like the idea of this fuel synthesizer. But... What would we, we... We would need to remove one of these. I definitely don't want to remove the battery. This thing is... Well, actually, that, that thing's wearing out anyways because it's got the little X status effect, as is this. Um, this is... This one's not, though, so this one's still good. All right, let's try the fuel synthesizer thingy. Hopefully we can make it. Yeah, we just need a couple circuit boards. Okay, I'm going to replace this. And I think I think we're done with this because it's getting to the point where it's kind of breaking now anyway. Nice little bunch of electronics there, eh? Okay. Can we directly fill that? Even though that's kind of not the point. No, we can't. Okay. We shouldn't be able to because it's a, f it's a fuel distillery thingy. Um, I like my mini turbine, but again, we got the fragile or the broken status effect thingy on it. Uh, maybe we just make a new one of those. This is the, yeah, I just want to make sure that is the actual damaged one. Okay, so we got the fuel distillery thingy. We have a fresh mini turbine. Floodlights are in pretty good shape, and the battery is in pretty good shape. Uh, we need to do another charge. All right, so the last thing we're going to do in this episode... It, well, almost the last thing. I need to paint this panel here. I think everything else looks good paint-wise. No, we need to paint the hood, and we need to put the stripes on the hood. Yeah, uh, okay. So what about if we try those numbered stripes that we found? That's cool. I 
I like it. Number 11. Okay. I think all the rest of our panels are, are painted. Everything else should be good to go. Last thing we're going to do is figure out our quirk. So... Well, let's see how many we have first. Oh, shit, we have four. <laughs> okay, I know one of them is that the car bounces up and down. How many how many guesses do we have? Uh, it doesn't seem to tell us. But why don't we we have plenty of normal K limbs, so let's let's do an investigate here. Okay, four hints found. Let's go. Let's go car. We'll buy another hint. Moves uphill? What? Car moves uphill. I don't I don't know. Oh, maybe when it's when it's moving uphill. Okay. Uh, let's buy another hint. Rear left door or wipers. We can't really test that here because there's no hills on our track out back. I've never, I haven't noticed anything about the rear left door, but it would either open or close. Probably opens the most likely thing. Um, we have, we still have 22 K limb, and I think we've used almost all of it for research. So yeah, let's um let's let's try a guess first. We have eight guesses. Yeah, let's just try it and see what happens. No. Okay, so when the car moves uphill, the next likely thing would be closes cuz I don't it hasn't fallen off or it would, you know, it we would have lost it, right? Oh, damn it. I, I screwed up, didn't I? Um, it's not rear left door at all. It's wipers. Okay. So, I think I did notice the wipers getting stuck. Yeah, let's buy another clue. Okay, so they wobble... Move. I, I think it's get stuck, but I'm not 100% convinced. That's it. Okay. Uh, fixes. Mechanics kit. Two mechanics kits, to be precise. Okay. Very good. All right, now let's go back to here. There's a problem with our headlights, our radio, and our steering wheel, none of which I've noticed. Um, okay, so let's see if we can figure this one out by investigating because I couldn't, I couldn't test going uphill here, right? Ah, you see that? The passenger side rear door just opened. Oh no, it fell off. <laughs> Shit. Okay. All right, I think that one's pretty whoops. Uh, I think that one's pretty obvious.
This is fun, man. I love doing this. Okay, so radio switches on. Rear left door falls off. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? Okay, hold on. Okay, so that immediately fell off as soon as we turned the radio on. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, so that, that means it has to stay on. It looked like it had fallen off. Wait, what? Taking her home. The tracks are jumping on their own now. The rain is. You know what I think? happened I, I think it opens it doesn't fall off but then when I get out of the car that makes it fall off because it has it hasn't fallen off but when I get out I run into it and it knocks it off so I think this is when the radio toggles Well, it's definitely not falls off. So let's let's look at this again. All right, so radio toggles. Rear left door opens. Nope, that's still not right. Stays on or stays off? Let's 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 work the problem. <laughs> okay, let's just turn it on once. As soon as we turned it on. It opened, but it hasn't always done it that way. See, that time it didn't do it. Let's just leave it on for a second. That's it, stays on. It just took a while for it to cycle, I guess. Yeah, that one was hard to tell because it wasn't, you know, it it wasn't apparent. <laughs> okay. Radio stays on. Rear left door opens. That's got to be right. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Okay. Um, we need one mechanics kit to fix that. There we go. All right, so there's some issue with our headlights and our steering wheel. Here, let's um let's see if we can figure figure out if there's something wrong with the steering wheel. I mean, there is something wrong with it. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Oh, this engine is so much better, you guys. I can really tell the difference. Okay. 
if we go hard to the left, hard to the right. Um, are our wipers affected at all? Mmm, mmm, okay. They, s whoops, they are doing something when I turn left. See how they're kind of pausing there? Steering wheel goes left. Uh, wipers. Okay, yeah, so that, they, they call that a wobble. Seems like it's stuck to me, but I think that's it. We have four guesses. Huzzah! Okay. We need one mechanics kit. Uh, okay, go here and go here. All right, so there's some problem with our headlights, um, but I, I don't know what they are. And we could, it would cost us, well, okay, it'll only cost us a half point of K limb for here, so let's, let's do that. Okay, toggle. This will cost us 1.5k limb. Wipers. Oh. This one's hint is, is still there. Well, I guess that's... I guess we already knew. Okay. <laughs> I must have bought a hint on that last one and it, we still had a a usage for it. We need one electrician's kit. Yeah, see, something like that's really hard to, at least for me anyways, hard to diagnose. Excellent. All right, we have fixed all of the quirks on the car. Woot. And this is no longer yellow. Uh, we've got a problem with our battery, though. It's... What does that mean? Beige paint. The ultimate dad color. Are you a dad? Do you want to be a dad? Do friends describe you as having dad energy? Express the fullness of your dad ability with a tone that promises killer puns on every road trip. Yeah, right. Okay, let's go to status. Um, it's a thingy with a lightning bolt. Wait a minute, I'm not seeing that here. It's... Oh, it just means it's not charged. Okay, never mind. No. It still has that status effect. Let's scan it. Oxidized. Battery is running dry faster than it should, thanks to oxidization. Uh, o yeah, oxidization. Uh, this could be due to damage, a faulty connection, or some strange anomaly. Regardless, it will need fixing. All right, that needs a sealing kit. There we go. Okay. We just have one uh, panel that I guess we probably banged up a little bit. That fixes that. And this is... Those are borderline okay. Do I have any putty left? I, I, I don't. But I got a full... Another full torch there. Uh, you know what? What the hell? Let's just top. Let's just top these off. Since I do have another full torch. 
Uh, looks like our hatch need, needs to top it off. And our two wheels here. How a torch works on a rubber tire, I'm not sure, but hey, who am I to uh, question this, right? Okay, that's good enough. We have a full torch for field uh, field fixes, and we're going to need to refuel because we went out for a test drive. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys don't mind these long episodes, but it's just this game. It's just kind of the nature of this game. It takes a long time to get through all this stuff. Um, so anyway, plan for the next episode, of course, will be to continue um, the game. We're going to do the Visions mission back in the mid zone and continue exploring the mid zone and having fun in the game so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye